comes with the word of God. We're going to worship him a little bit. The Holy Spirit loves worship, doesn't he? He comes right in when you start worshiping the Jesus Christ, the name of Jesus. Come on, give him a praise wave.
thank God for another opportunity to bless the Lord at all times. Thank God for who He is and what He is to us. That He is your water of them that diligently seek Him. We thank God for our congregation here and those that are watching online. goodness Amen. and his mercy. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen. I usually speak on Ephesians. Amen. I got about what, two more chapters in that particular book. Amen. Pistol, rather. But we want to talk about a little about our Father today. Amen. My Heavenly Father. Amen. Praise the Lord. I thank God for all that he's done for us and what he's doing for us right now. Amen. I think I talked a little bit about this years ago. I don't know how in depth I went. Praise the Lord. Uh, this day we honor the fathers. It's Father's Day. We don't have a one here today. Amen. We have a son who is a father. And he, amen. When you say happy father, he kind of, what are you talking about? You know, he's getting used to being a father. Amen. But uh, this Father Day originated back in 1910, so they tell me, by a little la a lady named, a little lady named Senora Dodds of Spokane, Washington. She was in the church and it was having service for the Mother's Day. And she was thinking about her own father. And uh, her mother had died years earlier. And the father was a godly man, devoted man to God. And he took care of his children when his, the mother had passed on and was doing the right remarkable job of it. And she was thinking with herself, why not we honor Father's Day? And so she uh, asked them about that and they had Father's Day for the first time and they started worshiping uh, honor it on June in June. You know why? Because that's the day her father was born. And then years later, back in 66, in that area when John, uh, President Johnson was president, he made it a national holiday. Amen. From that day forward, we started honoring Father's Day, which is right. Amen. You know, you got a mother and a father. And if he's a good father, honor him. Amen. But Amen. give him recognition for who he is. And she did this, that, and it's been going on ever since. Praise the Lord. So I thank God for that. And you know, each one of us have had a father. Amen. Is that right? Amen. And uh, we look to them because they were our fathers and they we have some good precious memories of them. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Each no father is perfect. Nobody's perfect down here. Praise the Lord. But we, uh, we, we honor our fathers, each one of us. Praise the Lord. I recall some of the times my father was at home when he was alive when I was a youngster too. And he would, I would, he would, he was like a lumberjack or something like that. <laughs> He would supply people with uh, wood in the wintertime to help them with their stoves or what have you. And I was his right hand man. My daughter said, she's my left hand. But uh, I was his right hand person. And we'd go out in the country and we cut wood and he had what they called a Poppin' Johnny. I don't think y'all know what that's all about. That's an old tractor. I got a lot of good old stories to tell, but I don't tell them all the time. I tell them when I need to. Praise the Lord. Amen. But anyway, he would strike up old Papa Johnny 
and uh, and Johnny had a platform. I don't know why they called him Johnny anyway. You got Johnny for everything. <laughs> Johnny in the restroom. Johnny here. Johnny there. Johnny come lately. We got all kind of names about Johnny. Johnny gets a bad rap, you know. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But anyway, we use Papa Johnny, and he strike that thing up, and it's an old old tractor with a big wheel. You hit that wheel and turn it, and start popping. Put the wood on the platform, and I, my job was to cut it and then throw it in the, the truck. Amen. And at the end of the day, it was settle up time. Mm -hmm. Pop, give me my money. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so happy because, you know, when you're a kid, you, any, any amount of money, if then it was any amount of money, it's good. Now you got to pay these kids all kind of money. <laughs> Amen. But back in the day, he gave me some money. And, he keeps the money, we go talk to the person and issue them out their wood and we go back and sell it up. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And uh, it was a good time. It was a good time. And he, he had a lot of good things, good traits that I use today uh, in my own life. He's a giver. He liked to give people. Amen. 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 He treated you right. And he gave me a truck. Oh, that was a nice old flatbed truck, 1954 pickup. It was a good truck. Praise the Lord. He gave me a car, too. Praise the Lord. Amen. I was the right hand man. I was the only one there. Praise the Lord. All the rest of the guys had left, but I stick, stood by him. Praise the Lord. They went to the various states and was in the military, but I was there to help him out. And, uh, that's the same truck I told you that I started driving and thought he didn't know anything about it. Well. But he knew all about it, but he still let me have a truck later on. Not because I broke it up, but it was still in good shape. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But it's memory like that you have of your father. Praise the Lord. Amen. And Amen. how he does things. And and uh, you get some of the traits, uh, take on some of the traits that he has and, and put it in your own life, apply it to theirs so that you can have traits applied to your kids' lives. Amen. We are a product of who we are, who Amen. we who we who we are around. Is that right? Amen. So today I want to talk to a little bit about the Father, honoring our fathers. But I want to talk about the promises that God has given to us, because some people don't have fathers who uh, are saved or who show them the right way. Amen. But we got a heavenly Father who will show us the Amen. right way. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we cannot use that trip saying, well, my father didn't teach me nothing. That's a cop-out. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's a cop-out. Because as you grow older, you should learn something on your own. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Don't use your, your parents as your cop-out because you didn't succeed or the way you are today. That's right. Amen. You can, you can make it because you have a will to inside of you that's built inside of you. That's right. To know right from wrong. Amen. Amen. And you have been exposed to the Word of God sometime in your life. That's right. Is that right? Amen. So, 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 quit trying to use it as an alibi, saying that you didn't know what you know because you didn't wasn't shown. Right? Nobody showed you or teach you, teach you the way of life. Amen. Amen. Because so easy to learn the ways that are wrong. That's right. Amen. By the peers you come in contact with. Because you are a product of your surroundings anyway. Amen. 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 One person said, picked up, says, you are what you eat. Amen. Amen. We was talking, was talking to a pastor one time. He was on the road. And he liked hot dog. I said, you know what you said. Because he said it to me. Uh, you are what you, you're surrounding. I said, so therefore you're saying that you are what you eat. And you like to eat hot dogs, right? <laughs> he grinned and smiled and backed up a little bit. But we are a product of what we are surrounded with. Amen. Praise the Lord. And uh, Sister Hopkins sang this, Pastor Hopkins, Connie Hopkins sang that song from 128 Psalms. And that song there is a song that the Jewish people used when they were getting married. Did you know that? Amen. Praise the Lord. But before we get to that, that song there, I, I want to talk about life without God is senseless. Amen. Amen. And God, the true head of the home. 
Amen. We're combining both of those 127 Psalms and 128 Psalms. And talk about that because this is the day we honor the fathers and I want to honor the Almighty Father and I'm also my father who has left here and going on. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And this is one of the scriptures I used to read all the time. Praise the Lord. I'm read out of the straight Bible. It says, Except the Lord build the house, they that labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wicked but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early and to sit up late to eat the bread of sorrow for so he giveth his beloved sleep. Though the children are an inheritance of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his, reward, is, her, is his reward. And as the earls are in the hand of the mighty man, so are the children in youth. Happy is a man that had his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies at the gate. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is the principle in this Psalms about all human efforts are in vain unless they have God's blessings. In life, we should have God's blessings in our lives. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We should have God's blessing in our life. And I'm talking not only in the spiritual realm, but in the natural too, because everybody is not saved. Amen. And everybody that watches today is not saved. Amen. Amen. I'm not a fool. I know that's true. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, you know, you can get blessed in the natural by doing the natural things. Amen. Amen. But let me read on here. Praise the Lord. Amen. This principle is applied in four areas building a house, guarding a city, working long hours, and having children. It is possible to accomplish all these things without God's blessing. Amen. You can build a house. Praise the Lord. Is that right? Amen. Amen. You can't guard the city. You got the police to guard the city. You can't guard the city. And we do work long hours because, you know, he, the Bible says he don't work. He doesn't work. Doesn't eat anyway. Is Amen. that right? Amen. If you don't work, you don't eat. Amen. Some people like to, to get stuff without eating, without working for it. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. And they're able to work. Amen. But they don't want to. They want you to work for them. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Having children. People like having children. Praise the Lord. This people can do, and they can come here without the blessings of God. But they don't realize that God gave them strength anyway to get what they have today. Amen. So you didn't do nothing on your own. You thought you did. Amen. It's about almost like the, the individual that my Sunday school teacher was talking about years ago. And uh, this guy said, come to his house, his, his yard, and see now I have a big garden, a large garden. This guy was very arrogant. He said, he was listening to him talking. The man said, God really bless you with that garden there, man. You are seeing this with God had it. That was it. He was somewhere to happen. Amen. He thought he did it all by himself. He's the one that brought the rain out of the sky. The lightning, the flash, would we'll have nitroglycerin to give the the uh, the grass, the, the the soil energy to function, and, and to see the germinate into under, and underneath it. He thought he was the one that did all of it because he cultivated it. He didn't cultivate anything. God didn't send water or rain to come and fall on that. You're not going to have nothing but some dead crops Amen. or some dead seed. Can some of the praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Amen. It is possible to accomplish these things without God's blessing, but it is not possible to accomplish them purposefully with the eternal value without God's blessings. Amen. And that's what we need. We need to accomplish with God's eternal blessings. That's right. Because it's only what we do down here is going to last anyway. That's right. We're just passing through down here. Right. Well, as we pass through, we want to make we want to leave something here as a legacy, so someone to have say, "Yeah, he helped me do this." Or she helped me do that. She encouraged me. Amen. That's what life is all about. 
<coughs> Some people say that children are cursed. The Bible says children are a blessing. Amen. Now I know um, <laughs> some kids can be a curse. But it's only like a curse because you 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 train them wrong. Amen. Amen. Is that right? You gotta put kids in the hands of God. That's right. God's gonna have to be the one that's gonna have to turn things around in their lives. That's right. But they're looking to you as the one to teach them. Amen. Is that right? Amen. I told you about my mother. She used to tell me to go to church, praise the Lord. I would do my own thing, but she seen that I needed some instruction. And she instructed me. Amen. And I didn't have the Holy Ghost then, so I had what they call a stick, <laughs> a switch. And that switch helps control me. It helped inspire me to well, go to church. Well. And I like it. You know, nowadays when you put a switch on the kids, that's a child abuse. And they'll come to your house and they'll knock on your door and take your kid away and put him in a abusive home. That's right. Amen. Sometimes. Not all caseworkers are like that. We got one of them is. Amen. Amen. He's not like that. There's been many others not like that. Amen. But there are some that they'll put it into another place at home. Even, you know why? Because it looks like a good environment. That's right. Because they are so successful in their personal lives. When they get that child there, it could be a different story. Amen. Amen. So it's good for our people to understand how to treat the children. That's right. We used to tell our kids when they were younger, hey, we're teaching you all right. But we go back to school saying we, we can beat y'all up and what have you. Yeah. They'll take you away from us and, and we will never see you again. That's right. We never, never see you again. That's right. And they took us out of word and they, hey, hey, they did what they wanted to do. I mean, they did what they're supposed to do. Amen. And God bless them. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Children should be taught by their parents. That's right. In order to be good citizens in this world which we live in. A lot of kids can't get taught by the parents because the parents got to get out and work too. That's right. And the kids are left by themselves. Amen. Amen. Yeah. But we need some way or another to get back ourselves, get ourselves back to God. That's right. So God can help us train our children. Amen. If we train the children where they should go, when they're old, they will not depart. Is Amen. that right? Amen. 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 This sounds like old fogey stuff, but it's true. Amen. The word is still true today That's as it right. was years ago. That's right. Amen. Amen. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. So the Psalms it talks about two practicalities of having children to bring them with joy and they protect you. See, as if you take care of your kids right in the end, when you get older, they'll come and help you out. Amen. You know that? Amen. And you know, sometimes we've, we've been talking to our kids a long time and it seems like nothing's registered. Like like the, the lights are on, but nobody's there. <laughs> but after a while, well, after a while, after a while, it registers. You know that? Amen. It does register. Amen. And it become a blessing in our, 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 our as we get older. I remember my, my sister, praise the Lord, uh, my mother used to take care of all diligently, praise Amen. God. You know, I know it was her responsibility, but you know, some people say, well, kids say, well, I didn't ask to be here. That's regardless what you're saying there. Whether you asked to be there or not, you were here. That's right. Amen. You have no cover to look at me and saying, you, I didn't ask to be here. Shut your big mouth up. <laughs> Don't let nobody tell you that. Amen. And put you in a field trip Amen. saying, uh, they say, I, didn't, I asked not to be here. As a kid, they're disrespectful to their parents. Amen. Don't let nobody try to hit me. You create a standard where you can talk to your kids to the point and raise them point where they won't try to challenge you. That's right. Ain't no child got no business beating up on the parents. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. I was watching this is kind of slaying a little moving away from the subject, but I was watching Oprah Winfrey one day. And I seen this kid on their program. And the kid said, wait till I get you home. And his mother's about ready to have a nervous breakdown because Amen. she she didn't want to get hurt when she got back Amen. home. Amen. Uh, honey, not so. Amen. That's not normal for a child to put that much fear in their parents. Amen. You know that? Amen. If you are an ethnic group, you ain't got no business letting no kid mess with you. Amen. Not only ethnic, any group. Amen. You raise that child, you shouldn't let that child run you. If you train that child the way he's supposed to go, he will love you all the days of your life, even when you get feeble. Amen. 
when my sister, my mother got feeble, my daughter, my sister still raised her and respected her. Amen. We all did. Amen. Because she was our parent. Amen. He was our parent. Amen. Praise the Lord. We respected them. Amen. We didn't talk back to them. Praise the Lord. We loved them. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's the way it should be. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's the way God designed the system. Is that right? Amen. To honor is to give them accolades. Talk about what they've done for you. And it's up to the parents to show uh, that they are a good citizen and they're good parents by the way they treat one another. The Bible talks about it in, 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 in the New Testament. we got to love our children and Amen. respect them. Don't meet and maul them along the way. I'm paraphrasing now. Amen. So they'll disrespect you. <coughs> I remember a case of point where I used to work at. I'm getting back to the message here. Praise the Lord. But you got to have all this to bring it up, bring it out home, praise the Lord, because we need a life illustration so that we can relate it to the Bible because the Bible is still right Amen. in this day and time which we live in. There was an incident at my work. I worked at one place. And this guy came to the place. He lost his arm. He had a stroke. And he couldn't move around like he should. And his kids took advantage of him, beat him upside his head, and, 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 and swole his jaw. And he asked, What's going on? Oh, no, I didn't nothing happen. They found out the kid beat him upside his head. But what happened was, it was no excuse. He didn't treat his child right while he was healthy. And uh, the child waited till he got down. He took advantage of him. It's our job to take measures to treat our kids like we want to be treated. Amen. And as they grow up, treat them like adults. Amen. And they'll treat, continue to treat us like adults. That's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's not just love long situation where I'm going to treat you right, but you, ain't, I ain't, you can't you treat me this way. I can treat you wrong, but you can't treat me wrong. Amen. Amen. We've got to be fair with one another. Amen. Because it's called a law of sowing and reaping. It applies for your kids too. Amen. You know that? We've got to learn how to treat each other right. That's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. I know that's right. So the Bible talks about it. It says, and unless the Lord builds a house, the worker works, uh, builds, a, builds the builder, the building is wasteful. Unless the Lord protects the city, the guard it will it will no, no be no good unless it is useless for you to work so hard from early morning to late at night. Let me stick a pin there, praise the Lord. A lot of people work hard in their lives. Amen. Wanting to retire later on. <clears throat> and by the time they're about ready to retire, they leave. I worked for the guy down at AP Greens, and praise the Lord, and uh, he worked hard. I talked to him one day, nice man. He did work. Now, A.P. Greens is hard enough work. What he did was hard. And then after that, he went there roofing and they had a tire, smelling a tire in his lungs. That's a dangerous type of work. And he always talked about he can't wait till he retires. He got everything built up. He had all kinds of antiques that he saved up. And he said, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. And by the time he retired, he lived six months after he retired and died. Some people work hard all their lives. They cannot appreciate their retirement. Amen. Amen, Praise the Lord. But we, what, we, what we need to do is take life step by step. That's right. And take the Lord along with us. See, I said in the beginning that you can accomplish all these things without God. But eternal life comes when you accept Christ. Amen. He can help you enjoy your life here right. as well as the life to come. That's right. A lot of people work all the days of their life, they didn't have no God hereafter. That was their God. Amen. I've got Amen. a neighbor. Her God is that house and that na at a yard. They're constantly doing things around Amen. there. Amen. They constantly want the praise of the people to come and say, oh, you got a beautiful yard. Your house, your yard, your house, all oh, everything is beautiful. Praise the Lord. It's good to get praise, but don't let that praise overtake you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. A lot of people want to talk about money. Praise the Lord. 
But the Bible says, beloved, I wish you all things you prosper and be in health, even your soul to prosper. And everything's got to fall in place together so everything can be on the same plateau. Is that right? Amen. Amen. So when it goes up, it goes up together. That's right. Your health, Amen. your spiritual life, as well as your finances. Amen. Every, it's lopsided in this world which we live in. Amen. And then when people talk about that in church, people say, oh, he's a money hog. You don't know about the Bible. That's right. I want my needs to be met. Amen. I don't want to be struggling all the days of my life. That's right. He want to retire, I want to be blessed. Amen. Some people retire, they don't have nothing. They ain't got nothing. Some people eat dog food to survive. I'm not going to eat dog food. Amen. Because my Father in heaven is going to take care of me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Is that right? Amen, likes. That's Amen. right. Amen. It will happen for me. I will not eat dog food. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Oh, they say it tastes good. The only time I heard a person say it tastes good, he was drunk. <laughs> he said he, he got up the next morning, he didn't know what he had. There was Alpo sitting on the table. He thought it was gravy tray, gravy, gravy biscuits. Next morning he got up and it was Alpo. No, this is not going to happen here. Praise Amen. the Lord. It's not going to happen your way. If you praise do what's Lord. right with God, God will honor you. And God will protect you. I know that's right. Amen. Amen. I'm going to just talk with you in a few minutes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Listen to what it says here again. And the children are your gift from the Lord. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. A lot of people can't have kids. Amen. And those that do have kids shouldn't have kids. They abuse those kids. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's just when they turn and begin to mess up. They do things that's not normal mm -hmm. to human beings. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. They 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 don't love the right people. That's right. Is that right? I'm trying to get keep political correct. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's not normal. Praise the Lord. To love same sex. Amen. I should Amen. say it. No man sin. Amen. Praise the Lord. But they need to know that God wants us to love one another. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Children are a benefit from God for the family. Amen. Amen. If your children are being benefit to you, that's their problem, not yours. That's right. You keep loving God and loving them, and God will take care of them. Amen. Is that right? Amen. I know because. Uh, if the old lady used to run this church years ago, her the pastor's wife said, I took care of my mother up till the day she died. And uh, I guess she was an old lady then. But I'm talking about this one lady had here. This woman lived to be almost 89 years old. Amen. And she said, I love my mama. And you know what? The Bible says. All right. You better know some scriptures. You know that? Amen. Amen. The Bible says. If I love my mother and father, I should have a long life. Kept quoting that. Amen. Amen. And that woman lived to be 89 years Amen. old. That's right. Amen. Yeah, I took care of my mama. Because the Bible said, and you're just ringing that out. You know, what, she has some good truth there, you know that? Amen. Amen. In honoring the Father, you honor His Word. That's right. Amen. That's what it's all about. When you honor God, you honor His Word. Amen. So when you're wanting things from God, you use the word. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. First, as I say, you worship God. And then you bring in the scriptures. Your word says this, my father. Mm -hmm. I stand on your word. You are a miracle working God. Amen. Your word says with your stripes I'm healed. Amen. If I bind the devil, the strong man, I can ask what I will. Amen. And it shall be done. Praise the Lord. Amen. Is that right? Praise the Lord. See, the principle is saved because we honor this God that we serve, and this God will honor us. Amen. Amen. When the children of Israel honored God, God honored them. Amen. God protect them. God brought them out of the wilderness uh -huh. with a strong home. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Because they put God first in their lives. Praise the Lord. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. God took care of them. 
And that lets me know one thing about the children of Israel. Because God loved them and took care of them and brought them out of bondage for 400 years, what can he do with you? Amen. If we worship and take time out to praise God, no matter what the situation looked like in the wilderness, no food to eat. God's word said, as I took care of the birds of the air. Well, lilies of the valley. Why can't I do the same for you? Praise the Lord. If you would only trust me. Blessed be the Lord. Thank you, my Father. Praise the Lord. If the Lord builds a city. <laughs> Amen, praise the Lord. If the Lord builds a house, we don't labor in vain. Amen. Now let's tell me that, that we got to build ourselves up with the Word of God. Amen. The Bible says in Joshua, if you meditate on the Word day and night, you will have good success. The more we learn to meditate on God's Word and put God first in our life, no matter what occurs in life, no matter what distraction occurs, no matter what's going on in the federal or the local or the state, it will not deter us from receiving God's blessing in our own lives. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. I know that's right. And getting to the scripture that I want to talk about today is the 128 Psalms. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is the head of the home. Amen. Amen. He's our Father, our Heavenly Father. You see, God doesn't have any grandchildren. He only has children. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And as I said, this is a prayer that they use in time of marriage. They sing this song in the Israelites' marriage. Amen. Praise the Lord. And God will reward your devotion to Him in their inner peace. You know, it's good to have inner peace with God. Amen. And everything else is falling apart. You should have that something within you that holds you together. Amen. You know that? Yeah. It's got to, you got to have something within you That's right. that will sustain you. Amen. To keep you intact when you can't sleep at night. You don't know which way to go. You can be like Silas and Paul. They prayed. And they prayed. And then God Heard their answer. And you must know this one thing. If God blessed them, he can bless you. Amen. If God heard them, he will hear you. Amen. You know that? Mm -hmm. Anytime you read in the Bible where you see how God blessed someone else, you say, if he blessed them, he can bless me. Amen. I used that principle before I got saved. I said, now if that guy can pass that driver's test, I know I can pass it. Amen. Amen. I use it as an object lesson. You know that? And in flipping over to the spiritual realm, I say the same thing. If God did this for you, I know he'd do this for me. Amen. You know why? Because the Bible said, I read where God said he's in no respect to person. That's right. You see, that's what a father is all about. A father will, a true father will love you all in the same category. Amen. A True father will benefit, give you the benefits he gives everybody else. Amen. Mm -hmm. And if God bless Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Job, why can't he bless me? Amen. Mm -hmm. Why can't he bless you? Praise the Lord. If God took care of them, why can't he take care of you? Praise the Lord. Amen. He's the same God. Amen. He hasn't lost his power. No matter what people say, God's dead. God's not dead because you're alive. Amen. You still exist. Praise the Lord. If the trees of the air can give praise to God, why can't we? Well, praise Him. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. He said one thing, if these hold their peace, the rock will have to cry out. So I'm going to praise God. Amen. I ain't going to let nothing take my Amen. place. What about you? Amen. Amen. So the Bible says, how joyful are those who fear the Lord. All who follow His ways. You will enjoy the fruit of your labor. How joyful and prosperous you will be. Your wife will be like a fruitful grapevine, flourishing within her house. Your children will be like vigorous young olive trees, 
as they sit around their table. That is the Lord's blessing for those who fear Him. You see, God will bless you if you fear Him. Amen. Fear is respecting Him. Is that right? Amen. Amen. You're not scared of Him, but you fear and respect Him. A good family's life is rewarded for following God. If you do what God says, He rewards you, and God Amen. has some good, big dividends. Praise the Lord. God has a major dividend. Yes, Amen. Amen. God will bless you with help when others are our lives are falling apart. Amen. God will preserve you with right. I told y'all that story about you know, I think I told y'all that story about this woman who was sick and she was crippled up in a wheelchair. And they brought her to this meeting. And uh, she was about she come out of nursing home. She was actually about 95 years old. She wasn't that old. But because of her condition, it messed her up. She got a hold of that word, and the Lord began to come upon her life, and they laid hands on her. See, there's two types. There's a lot of many types of laying on the hands. But this was the where God used his gifts to reform in that particular ministry. You know, people get so wrapped up and tired. I'm still talking about God's goodness and God's mercy and God is honoring God. But they use that gift of laying on their hands. Now, people think if you don't lay your hands and you don't you receive your blessing right now, you're not of God. That's wrong. The Bible Amen. talks about it in Mark. They begin to mend immediately. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Sometimes you don't get your healing immediately. That's right. It's on the men. Is that right? Amen. Amen. People got to realize that. The more you read about God, and Tim's talking about that in his gifts of the uh, Spirit. Amen. The spiritual gifts. Amen. Amen. We need to hear about all that stuff. Because, so when the time comes before it occurs that we need to need to use those gifts, we can, we'll can we hear about it so that we can use it later on down the road. Is Amen. that right? Amen. Amen. Don't wait till the disease or whatever comes upon you before you start getting serious about uh, what did that word say? you in desperation now. Get the word before it's out of desperation. Amen. But this woman in this word, uh, this ministry at that time, she came to that meeting and they put, pushed her there in, her, in a wheelchair. And she was deformed. And she heard the word. Something about hearing the word. You know that? Amen. Yeah. It ignites something in your body. Right. Hear the word. Now people say, well, that's God just does that for some people. No, not really. No, that's not true. God does us all. Amen. But sometimes you got to use your faith. That's right. You got to use your faith. Amen. Praise the Lord. Is that right? Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm teaching now. Praise the Lord. You got to use your faith. Amen. In order to get something from God. If God, if you love God, you can use your faith to receive whatever you need from God. Amen. Amen. Regardless when you get it right now, it's time but you keep on doing it. Don't let your faith fail in believing in what you believe in Amen. God for. But this little old lady, they wheeled her there from this nursing home. And she heard the word. And when the preacher come by and laid hands on her, a miraculous thing took place. That little old lady come out of all that abnormality the old deformed body. Guy in that chair started dancing and shouting. Looked like she was 95 years old. The Lord restored her health back. She's about 65 years old the way she looked. There is no secret God can do if you just get turned on God's word. Amen. Is that right? Amen. God is still the same God. He has to do the same thing here. Why am I saying this? I'm putting seed in this ministry right Amen. now. So when someone comes in there that needs help, we can lay hands on that person Amen. and receive the healing for them. Amen. Because we're going to have the nine gifts. That we have the nine gifts in this ministry. Amen. They will function when they need to function. Praise Is that right? Amen. And you should say also in your prayer time, Lord, give me some of those gifts. Amen. Amen. Give me some of those gifts. I consecrate myself this day. In my prayer closet, my prayer time. Lord, use me to your glory. Yes. And God started using you, and he would reserve your health and your strength. Amen. If he did it for the days of people in wilderness and preserve their health and their clothing on the back, what can he do for you right now? Amen. Is that right? Amen. 
Amen. And praise the Lord. So the Bible's talking about that, praise the Lord. People, praise the Lord, about people. These help all relationships. They are especially vital to enter the home life. Praise the Lord. Your life can be a healthy life. Your home life can be healthy. Because if the leaders of the house pray right, that whole house will go right. Amen. You know that? It's my responsibility to make sure my house is praying right. That I am the prayer of the house. And everybody else will fall in place. Amen. The kids will start praying. The wife will start praying. If you honor God in your prayer time, and not only just one time a year, but to look to God on all things, you'll see God move mightily in your life, in every area of your life. I'll be talking one of these days about when a man's ways please the Lord. Hey, thank you, Jesus. It may give you a worse enemy to be at peace with you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bow your heads right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this word. I pray that some of your sin will encourage us how to honor God by honoring his word. Praise the Lord. That life without God is senseless. Amen. Buildings mean nothing unless they stamped with the word of God. Amen. God is the foundation of our lives. Without him in it, there is no foundation. It's sick and sin. Praise the Lord. Amen. If we call on God in our own situations and put Him first in our lives, in our homes, in our jobs, there will be inner peace within our lives on a daily basis. In the name of Jesus. Somebody heard the word today that doesn't know about Jesus. You can accept it right now. Say, Lord, I need Jesus in my life. been a sinner all my life. Can you forgive me my sins and set me free? I accept Jesus right now as my Savior.